Hey, I'm Jay from the Cub Scouts. Welcome back to more Persona 3. Now, last episode, we studied for our exams. We talked to some people. We raised our social links. But the most important thing is about to happen. Something that I've been waiting to happen in this game since I started playing it. We can now start a social link with Mitsu. Woohoo! I am very excited for this. We are going to race to our rooms go to sleep and then hopefully we can talk to her and everything will be a-ok -okay with our new base let's do this shit oh and we have a phone call hi tukari do you have a minute damn it just when i was thinking of mitsuru my other bay has to call me yeah hey you want to do something tomorrow since you have saki matama persona the love arcana yeah we know this what will you do okay you know what since yukari is bay numero uno we have to accept the offer Promise? Don't forget or I'll be mad. Yukari seems excited. All right, all right. Pinky promise. What will you do? Let's sleep earlier because we've already maxed out our academics. Though, so there's really no need to increase our academics anymore. Like, I'm stumbling over my words because I'm really excited. I've been waiting for this. You guys know. I know a lot of you guys have been waiting too for me to start the social link with Mitsuru. I've been complaining about it, like, why can't I start this social link yet? But now we can do it. There's no school today. You are meeting someone today. It's about time to leave. Oh, that was today? She called me to tell me that? She couldn't have walked one flight of stairs and be like, hey, z Kun, wanna hang out? No. Hey, wanna hang out? On the phone and shit. Iwatodai Strip Mall, Wakatsu Restaurant. Whew, thanks for lunch. Wait, I'm paying? I'm broke as hell. Yukari seems to be enjoying herself. Well, that makes one of us. Oh. Um. Yukari seems nervous. What about, baby? I eat more than a normal girl, huh? Yeah, you're a lard ass. Yeah, even more than me. Do you want mine, too? It's a healthy appetite. Okay, what kind of girl is Yukari? Is she the type... That likes to be coddled and like, no, 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 you're fine. Eat whatever you want. Or is she the type that likes it when we're straight up and like, yeah, you're being a fat ass. Can you calm it down, porker? Uh, I think she's the type that doesn't like people being straight up. Really? Hey, what's with that smirk? A healthy appetite, huh? <laughs> Yukari seems happy. Yes! Today, you two became a lot closer. Oh, that is so good. You have something that might make Yukari happy. Ooh, I wonder what it could be. Would you like to give her a gift? Yes. What type of item would you like to give? Flowers, fashion, antique, or other? I gave her flowers last time. If I give it to her again, would that be considered repetitive? Well, let's try fashion. You don't have that type of item. Well, fuck you too then. All right, we're gonna give her flowers again. You don't have that type of, what? Come on, dog. All right, antique. Then I don't have anything, then what the fuck am I gonna give her? Which item will you give to her? Jack Frost doll? I can have this? Wow, thanks. That's really nice of you. Ikari seems to really like the present. <laughs> fuck yeah, I guess we stumbled upon greatness. Your relationship could become stronger soon. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Hey, I can see right outside. It looks pretty damn light to me. Lighter than my pale ass skin. How the hell am I supposed to determine if it's what night or day? Heck? Oh, damn it, sir. You looking good in that co? How you doing, girl? All right. I'm going to talk to her. Whoa, what is she? Is she wearing any pants? Wait, she is. They're just like really like creamy. Look like she was wearing no pants at all. That would have been weird. I was worried about the team when we lost Shinjiro, but it seems like everyone has recovered surprisingly well. He must be smiling down on us from above. Yeah, sure. Rest in peace, Shinjiro. Totally forgot about him. I was too excited about the social links. Okay, um, I know you guys might be like, why the fuck isn't Jay going to Polonia Mall to raise those social links? There are only so many days left in this game. Well, you're right. I totally forgot about that. So I'm gonna go ahead to Polonia right now and see if the sleazy salesman is there or Mr. Monkey Monk. Okay, the salesman is not here. Hopefully the monk is here. All right, that's nice nice to hear from you too, man. Thank you for telling me that. <laughs> okay, Mr. Monk. Yeah, there you are. 
Oh, dear. Mitasu seems to be drinking by himself. Loser. Yes, I'll spend some time with him. Raise that socialing, baby. Huh, what a strange kid. Mitatsu seems amused. Alright, I gotta get my best drunk voice acting going since he's drinking by himself. You feel your friendship is growing stronger as you spend time with Mutatsu. Your relationship could become stronger soon. You are feeling sleepy. You decide to go back to the dorm. Okay, never mind. I guess I don't need to get my drunk voice acting on. Well, fuck you too, Mutatsu. Don't even want to talk to me. What will you do? Let's go to sleep because I really want to go to school. And I never say that, guys. I'm never excited about going to school. But when you have someone as sexy and as smart and as courageous, and did I mention sexy, as Mitsuru, you have to be excited to go to school because that... <sighs> Exam results will be posted today. Oh, yeah. We are going to be number one, son. And I remember last episode, I cheated a little bit. I cheated. I'm a little cheater, okay? I'm a cheetah. Um, I looked up the answers online, made sure I didn't get anything wrong. So, if I'm not number one, I'm gonna be pissed! Hey, the results are posted! You decide to go look at the exam results. Yippee! I can imagine Zekun like, skipping all the way to, like, the exam results because he knows he's number one. Smitty Werbin Men Jenkson. There we go, Z. You scored the highest in your class! Yes! Everyone is looking at you with respect. Well, thank you. Thank you, everybody. I know I'm, I'm the best. Your charm is increased. You suddenly remember something. Mitsuo promised to give you a gift if you scored the highest. <laughs> Lunchtime is almost over. You decide to go back to your classroom. Oh my god! I'm like a kid on Christmas. I can't wait. This is gonna be exciting. Uh, and watch it, my, watch it be like the most boring social link of all time. Okay, everyone, come get your tests so we can go over them. On question one, you had to use the formula we spent several days on to solve it. Remember? The next question was a word problem about calendars. Does anyone here buy a calendar every year? If you do, you're wasting your money. You see, calendars have only a set number of patterns. After all, how many days can January 1st possibly fall on? I'll pick a student mathematically. Let's see. See? How many calendar patterns are there? Uh, seven. Dur wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Let's think here. Seven might be a trick answer because seven. Well, he said, how many days can a, a, a number possibly fall on? And it's only seven. There's only seven days in a week, right? Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Damn it, motherfucker! Obviously, January 1st can only fall on seven days, Monday through Sunday. But you must factor in the possibility out of a leap day at the end of February. That's what I was thinking about. I was thinking about that extra day every four years. Which gives you seven more patterns. Two variations based on... Fuck you. You know what? Who cares? Your answer was incorrect. Still scored the highest in the class, though. Suck my balls, teacher. With your big-ass afro. Class is end for today. Okay. Sorry, Yukari. We got to go talk to Mitsuru. I'm gonna talk to my bae. Gonna talk to my bae. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna keep zigzagging my way all the way to Mitsuru. Because why the hell not, right? If we're happy, we're just gonna keep doing it. And is she over there? Wait. Hold on, hold on. Hey, have you seen Mitsuru? Fine, sexy young thing? Last time I was hanging out at the strip mall, I saw a dude with some wild fashion sense. Long, wavy hair, no shirt, and tattoos all up and down his arms. I know it's heating up outside, but he kind of went overboard. But hey, maybe it's cool to let your freak flag fly? Damn, that's a tongue twister. If I was more like him, not giving a rip of what people think, I wouldn't have a care in the world. Alrighty then. So Mitsuru is not over here. She's usually by the bulletin board by the library. So maybe I will hang out with Yukari. Alright, here we are. Let's go talk to our fine young mamacita. Hello, baby. Hey, Zikun. Are you busy? I thought we could talk for a while. Ikari looks anxious. Okay. I don't like it when you're anxious, because then it makes me anxious. Thanks. Ikari seems relieved. Then, can we go to the rooftop? Uh-oh. You guys know what the rooftop means. That means serious business. Gekko Khan High School, rooftop. You hear the track team training below. Yukari is quiet. Um... Dad, 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 dad. Forget it. I'm leaving. 
is what a pussy would say, but you're not a pussy, Zikun, are you? Uh, um... Oh! Don't scare me like that! But weren't you expecting me? Kari seems a little nervous. But there's something I want to ask you. Um, Seekun? Why do you spend so much time with me? Whenever I ask you to do something, you say yes. And you ask me to do things sometimes too, right? So much has happened between us. Is it because we're both Persona users, or are we just good friends? I'd like to think we're more than that. What do you really think of me? Lately, when I see you with Fuka, I wonder what you're talking about. It feels like someday, my heart is going to shrink, and I'm afraid I won't feel anything anymore. So, um, I want you to look at me the way I look at you, Seekun. You feel warm affection from Yukari. Your relationship is becoming more intimate. Oh, shit. I didn't even get a say in the matter? A mysterious voice rings in your head. Like, she was asking me for my opinion, but it felt like everything was set in stone. Oh, shit. So maybe Mitsu isn't Mitsube anymore. The Yukari Takaba social link has reached level 9. Your power to create personas of the Lover's Arcana has grown. Oh, dang, things are getting serious, guys. There is something special between you, and it is growing stronger. Will you? What am I saying? I've gotta go! No! What the hell? She went Usain Bolt in this bitch! Yukari left. You decided to go back to the dorm. Yeah, you can run, but you can't hide. We practically live together, girl. I'm just gonna knock on your door and be like, Hey, what the fuck was that conversation earlier? Hello. Hello, fuck boy. Your exams are over, right? Well, I'm ready to go to Tartarus when you are. I promise to do my best until the very end. I'll be fighting for him too. Man, whatever. I ain't gonna pick you. Let's talk to Mitsuru one more time. Well, how did you do on your exams? Great. Okay. Not good. There's no option to do, like, I did amazing as fuck? I'll just pick great. Sis Magnifique! Congratulations! Alright. Are you gonna give me my gift, or am I just gonna stand here awkwardly? Okay, I'm gonna go now. Uh, you know what? We're gonna go up to the top. We're gonna see if there's any new recordings. Um, I'm pretty sure Mitsuru is available to talk at school. Hopefully one of these days, because Yukari's acting weird as fuck. I mean, obviously she likes us, because she wouldn't be acting really weird. But other than that, Mitsuru is the only only girl that I really want to talk to. It's a bank of consoles. There seems to be a new recording. Yeah, baby. Watch a recording? Yes. <laughs> I love these recordings. The first one was a little weird, it's a little cringy. But they've gotten better over time. 9-25-2009, beginning playback. Alrighty then. Somebody taking a shower or like a hardcore piss? Oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold the phone here. What's up, baby? Whew. Whoops. I've gotten used to walking around without my bathrobe lately. Hey, no problems here. Not a very good habit to fall into. Well, I beg to differ. Well, I'm not at home, so I suppose being a little lax won't hurt. Yeah, definitely. This fashion magazine. I saw Takiba buying one, so I thought I'd pick one up myself, but... This one piece is beloved by all, including friends, boyfriends, and boyfriends' friends. Alluring yet prudish, the ultimate combination. Okay. Oof. What are they talking about? I have no idea, girl. I don't follow fashion myself. I usually just wear whatever the family stylist selects for me. Cute clothes, huh? Girl, you cute. Well, I do kind of want to try this. Pink one. Hmm. <laughs> not that I'd be able to pull it off. I'm not like Takiba. What? You jealous of Yukari? I should be careful to remember the distinction between clothes I want to wear and clothes I can wear. 
Oh, bless your fine ass, girl. I knew this was a bad habit. It's a good way to catch a cold. Why is her room so damn big? She has like all this fancy furniture too. I should get some rest. I have to wake up early again tomorrow. Oh, girl, you making me yawn. Now, which pajamas should I wear tonight? Birthday suit. Birthday suit, please. Birthday suit. Can you hear me? Mitsu! Birthday suit! Fuck! She left. Even though this is pre-recorded, the recording ends here. Man. The hell. <laughs> I wish they had one of those cameras that just, like, zoom, like, show the part where she, like, takes off the towel. Anyway. That was a cool recording. It was enough for all the perverts to be like, yeah. They just foam at the mouth and shit. Okay. I uh, think I might check Polonia one more time so we can max out the sleazy salesman link or the monk link. And we'll just go from there. Oh my god, this motherfucker is in here. This monk better be here getting his drink on. And my nose, well, the bottom of my nose, a little itchy. Ah. Don't you hate it like when you're like trying to scratch your nose? And then you're in public and it kind of looks like you're picking your nose. Hate that shit. Look at this dude getting his dance on. Awkward white boy dancing for the win. Would you like to know your fortune? Yes. Very well. A light has disappeared. The shadows grow darker. But the lost light will lives on in a strong new light. You have reached a turning point. The light has begun to challenge the shadow. Your time is coming. Soon. Farewell then. May your future be bright. All right, thank you so much, ma'am. Hey, what'll you have? Oh, it's you. That monk's not here today. He doesn't usually come on Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays. Neither does his wife, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he must be busy holding services or something. Okay. So, I'm pretty sure that guy has told me that before, but my stubborn ass doesn't listen. So, he's not there on those days. I never even look at the days to begin with. What should I do, guys? Should I go to Game Panic? Yes, let's go to Game Panic. Yes. Let's see what games there are. Print Club or Punching Bag. I can increase the strength of my persona. You showed the machine what you could dish out. Yeah, tell him who's bossy. Your persona strength has increased. It's getting late. You decided to go back to the dorm. Whew. I think I'm going to be able to max out Yukari Social Link in this episode. And my cells ring all the time. Hello, um, this is Chihiro. Um, may I speak to you for a minute? Yes, but just a minute. Um, if you're not too busy, would you like to go somewhere next Sunday? Sure. Really? That's great. I'll be looking forward to it. Chihiro seems excited. Just don't let Yukari see us or she will just... Ugh, I don't even want to know what she's going to do. What will you do? Go to sleep, because we need to get well rested. And yeah, if Yukari sees me and Chihiro, ooh, girl, she's going to go crazy on your ass. <laughs> even if Yukari sees me and Mitsuru, I don't even want to know about the hell that's going to be unleashed over there. That's just going to be crazy. Early morning to morning. I've never seen that happen before. Ah, uh, okay, class. I know you've been busy lately, but you all remember to do your homework, right? Why is this guy's voice like he had a dick stuck down his throat? Just because you're not taking a literature class next year doesn't mean you can blow off classic lit. Hey, are you listening to me? Not really. What's wrong, Fuka? You look kind of down. Huh? Talk to me. Tell me what's bothering you. Your cocaine-ass lips. It's about Aragaki Senpai. Oh, pretty shocking, huh? Like, look at those lips. Look like she did a line of coke, like, before this class started. Never seen him at school, but I've seen him around town. I wonder if he really did get caught up in some kind of crime. Some things you can never get back. I know that from all the things that have happened with my parents. I've sort of been avoiding the question, but is it okay for me to go on like this? Parents, huh? I can relate to that. But you'll be okay, right? Natsuki, what are you waiting for? Come on up! Yeah, yeah. 
Ooh, yeah, yeah to the teacher. Savage. Uh, don't you want to give your classmates a proper goodbye? Huh? What's going on? Yeah, where are you going? Uh, hello everyone. I know it hasn't been that long, but I feel like I've made some good friends. I'm sorry, before I continue this, I just cannot shake the voice actress of this girl because it's the same girl that voice acts Nanako from Persona 4, so I can't take it seriously for some reason. I'll remember each and every one of you, even after I transfer. Thank you. How's that? I just keep thinking, welcome home, big bro. Transfer? What? Fuka, sit down, girl. She must be, like, in love with her or something. She stood up and she was like, what? You're a weird one, you know? The biggest bitch in the school is leaving, and you feel sorry for her. Hey, Fuka's a cool chick. She's very understanding of you, even though you are a bitch. You are transferring? And you didn't say anything? It's not like telling you would have changed anything. Why make us both depressed? Anyway, my dad's pretty sick. And they say it'll take some time for him to recover. We don't really have that much money, so we can't afford to stay here. You know, I still think you're crazy for being friends with someone like me. But, like I said before, we're both in the same boat. My parents act like I don't even exist. I hate living at home. That's why I was so jealous when you moved into the dorm. Don't tell me this girl's gonna move into the dorm too. I have a feeling it's she is. Suki-chan. But, Fuka, your house is nearby and your parents are pretty normal. So why'd you move? Huh? Well, um... If you don't want to tell me, that's okay. But if it's something that you and your folks can work out, then... Do it while you have the chance. It'll be a while before my dad's in any condition for us to have a heart-to-heart. -heart. <laughs> what am I doing? This isn't what I wanted to talk about. You know, Fuka, I used to think that every day was just the same. And I'm only saying this because it's you. But you don't get any second chances in life. If you accept the way things are, then they'll never change. That's true. This is the last time I'll see this view. Huh. I won't be in school next week because I'll be packing, so... Guess this is goodbye. Aww. No! <laughs> it's okay, everything will be alright. Come on, don't give me that look. What? Hey, I'm not helpless, you know. It's changed a lot since I met you. That's true. I remember when we first met this chick, she was like bad-mouthing Fuka and she was just a total bitch. But now, she seems like they're actually besties or something. I'm gonna try and figure out what I really want now. So, I hope you do the same. What I really want... I used to try and please everyone. That's not a way to live your life, Fuka. I was afraid of not being liked, so I did my best to fit in. But I never really thought about what I wanted. <laughs> that is so like you, Fuka. Well, I say, if they don't accept you for who you are, then screw them. Yeah, fuck them. But I like you, even if you don't like yourself. Natsuki-chan. Well, better get going. Come on, Fuka, speak up, girl. There you go. No? I thought she would speak up or something. Guess not. Natsuki-chan! Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. We can't always talk, right? Thanks for everything. Suki-chan. Aww, that's sweet. This is a really good game. It's it, the story. I, I just, 
I don't know. Even if we're apart, we'll still be connected. Like, the story makes me feel way more emotional for some reason. <laughs> I have no idea why. It all makes sense now. I've always been so worried about how others are feeling. That's why my power allows me to stay connected with them. I guess there is something I want after all. It makes me happy to see everyone else happy too. So, I want us all to remain friends. The power to connect people even when they're apart. My persona has given me this amazing gift. The resolution in Fuka's heart has awakened a new persona. Yay. That's what daddy likes to hear. Look at you all grown up with your bad self. Lucia has given rise to Juno. Cool. There you are. Why? Did something happen? It is surprising to find you on the rooftop. Nah, we were just wondering what you were up to. Everything's okay now. I've made up my mind. I'll do as much as I can with my power. For my sake, as well as the sake of others. Okay... <laughs> Yukari's like, uh, what the fuck? What the fuck just happened? <laughs> Sorry. I guess that was sort of random, wasn't it? Yes. Well, to them it's random. To me, I witnessed the whole thing. Uh, are you sure you're alright? I think I'm way more emotional in this game because the soundtrack... Oh my god, guys. The soundtrack is awesome! Class is ended for today. Like, the music in this game has me feeling some type of way. Like, every time I play a video game... I feel like the audio is one of the the most important things. It's not the most important thing, that's what I was about to say. It's one of the most important things. Having great audio is the key to your emotions. It's like the key to making you feel a certain type of way. Like That's why everybody loves music. No matter what type of genre of music you like, everybody out there likes music or any type of melody that soothes your ears, you know, relieves your stress. I remember this guy. But, material's right here, so enough of this music talk. Let's get right into the real song. See? I saw your exam results. Good work. Here, this is from the chairman. It's a reward for effectively balancing school and battle. Obtain queen card set. Alright, let's talk again. See? Are you heading home now? Yeah, wanna join me? Sorry I'm busy. What the fuck?! I'm gonna study for a while before I go back! Make sure you don't neglect your own studies! I know you have other things to worry about, but studying shouldn't be a student's number one priority! What the fuck? What the fuck is this? What kind of bullshit explanation is that? Mitsuru, what the fuck? I got good grades for you and you're gonna be ungrateful? Can't even walk home with me? Fuck is wrong with you with your long ass skirt looking like a freaking window curtain? Screw you, I'm gonna talk to this dude. I'm not feeling too good, but the head, blah, blah, blah. You know what? Fuck this guy. I remember I talked to him last time. Go get a haircut or something with your long ass hair. I thought you were a girl at first. Hey, z -kun. I'm still looking for the smoker. Tell me if you find any new info. Bitch, shut up. I'm pissed off that Mitsuru's not talking to me. You know what? I am going to... I don't even know what I'm going to do, because plan A was to talk to Mitsuru, but obviously that's not going to work. Let me see what that queen card set thing is. I don't even know what the hell that is. Let's look at my items. Queen card set. What in the fuck is that? Uh, queen card set? That's cup of queen, no. Hello, where are you? Queen card set. Wait, is that it? No, that's not it. Is, this isn't in alphabetical order? You gotta be kidding me, bro. Alright, you know what? Whatever. Can't find it. I'm a little frustrated right now. And I'm just gonna take out my frustrations on her. Oh, Zisan, are you on your way home? Um, would you like some company? It seems like Chihiro wants to walk home with you. Heh, <laughs> that makes one girl in this school. Yes. Um, yes! Then, um, let's go somewhere for a while. Chihiro seems happy. Alright, we can go somewhere. We just can't let Yukari see us. 
And I don't know why Mitsuru doesn't want to talk to us. I mean, she gave us the Queen card set, but that's not the same thing as actually building a social link. Gekko Khan High School, Library. You feel your relationship growing stronger as you spend time with your hero. Your relationship could become- Aw, man. I was hoping, like, we'd be able to get to know her a little better. Those are, like, my most favorite times in this game, when you actually get to know the characters. Where have you been? Eh, uh, don't worry about it, buddy. You know what, Mitsuru? I'm pissed at you. You know, I did good on my exams, alright? You asked me this before. Yeah, bad memory. Go to the mall, guys. Don't judge me. There we go. That's what Daddy likes. Oh, it's you, Z. Are you free at the moment? If so, I can teach you a valuable life lesson. Free of charge, of course. It seems President Tanaka wants to talk to you. Yeah, let's do it. My, you're enthusiastic. President Tanaka seems pleased. Yes, very pleased. Pleased with a young man always want to talk to you. Before I enlighten you today, do you notice anything different about me? Like what? Let's just say sort of. Let's just tickle his balls for a little bit. Oh, then you can tell. President Tanaka seems happy. I had my hair revitalized. Doesn't it look healthier now? Sure, buddy. I'm afraid it's all part of the job. I have my fans to think of. At home, I'm completely the opposite. I dress like a slob and only shower once every three days. That is freaking disgusting. Your balls must smell like death. Let me give you an analogy. President Tanaka seems to be thinking. You're thinking of an analogy? What a dumbass. Vegetables! Perfect! Imagine an organically grown cucumber that looks deformed. Compare that to a cucumber that looks perfect, but it was grown using chemical fertilizers and pesticides. Which one do you think the supermarket would stock? The organic one? The one that looks good, of course. That's the simple truth. President Tanaka seems to be thinking. Awkward shaped cucumbers are difficult to stack, so stores prefer nice straight ones. Taste and safety are not really considered. Instead, they carry cucumbers that even mold won't eat. So, why do consumers still buy these cucumbers when they know the truth? Simple. People trust what they see. Appearance matters most. That's why, as much as I hate spending money, I buy expensive ties to win people's trust. Wait, you remember what I just said? About me dressing like a slob and not showering every day? Don't tell anyone! I can't afford to have people start believing I'm ordinary. I only said it because it was you. You're the only one who knows. You sense that President Tanaka has strong feelings for you. Whoa, buddy, I thought we were just friends here. You feel like you understand him a little better now. Alrighty then. A mysterious voice rings in your head. What he said, though, about the vegetables and them stalking the ones that only look pretty is actually true. Because, um... If you go to a supermarket and you look like the vegetables or the fruits or anything like that, they all look the same, right? They all look nice, round, shiny. Just a reminder, don't tell anyone. If you break your promise, well, I guess they can trust you. Run along now. You said goodbye to President Tanaka. But yeah, like I said, you know why they all look the same? It's because they only accept the ones that look aesthetically pleasing to the eye. All the other ones that are deformed, they throw them out. Hi, Tukari, do you have a minute? Yeah. Hey, wanna do something next Sunday? Since you have Saki Matama... Wait, don't I have like a prior engagement with Chihiro? I do, right? You already have plans on that day with someone else. Would you like to cancel them and accept this offer? Oh, shit. Um... Oh, fuck. You know what? Chihiro ain't shit, okay? She ain't shit, guys. If you are a Chihiro fan, I'm sorry, but she ain't shit. Promise? Don't forget, or I'll be mad. Ikari seems excited. Whoa, girl, calm down. Super excited. You sent a text message canceling your plans. Aw, fuck me. You received a text message from Chihiro. Oh, fuck. Well, I don't have a choice, do I? That was the end of the text message. Aw, oh, fuck. It's gonna be awkward now. Your relationship with Chihiro has soured. Your relationship with Chihiro has soured. Damn it. That sucks! Whatever, it's not even that important to me. But it's clearly affecting me for some reason, getting me in my feels again. The social link has become reversed. Until you reconcile, your relationship cannot move forward. <sighs> Whatever, man.
I'm frustrated. What will you do? Just go to sleep. But yeah, like I was saying about the vegetables. <laughs> I know, well, like our social link became reversed and now I'm back on the vegetable thing. They only take the ones that look aesthetically pleasing because that's what the consumers, like you and I, are, that's the things we like to buy, the ones that look nice. If it looks gross and deformed, of course we're not gonna eat it, even though it tastes the same as the one that looks nice. That's just the way life is. Good morning. Well, we're almost done. It feels like it went so fast. So many things happened, but I'm glad I was able to become friends with everyone. What about you? Same here. I'm glad I met you, Fuka. God, Zikun is a playboy. Huh? Oh, um, thank you very much. Look at her, she's blushing, let's go! I didn't mean it like that, but thank you. Yeah, dang. Zikun is like five for five on making girls blush. He is that dude. Where the hell's Yuko though? The swim team girl? I haven't seen her in a while. Is she dead? Class is ended for today. All right, Yukari, you there? Yes, she's there. But before we talk to Yukari, let's see if we can actually talk to Mitsuru now. Wait, 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 who the fuck is this? Oh shit, it's Yuko. <laughs> Speak of the damn devil. We need to talk. I don't like to leave things hanging. It seems a confrontation is unavoidable. Oh. What the fuck? A Gekokan High School rooftop. What the fuck is this? I don't like doing this, but I need to know the truth. What's been going on with you lately? Nothing. What about you, Yuko? Uh, nothing. Liar! I guess I was the only one who felt something. Sorry for asking such a weird question. Anyways, I can see now that we're just friends. Your social link is in jeopardy. Fuck. Oh my god, another one! Another one! Fuck, another- Oh, what the fuck sliced it half?! The social link has been broken! There's a widening distance between you! De loca, what the fuck is this? Things are falling apart with these ladies. Ain't no playboy. It's getting dark out. He decided to go back to the dorm. Zikun is not a playboy, I repeat. He is not a playboy. He is becoming a fuckboy that's getting caught up in all these women. I don't know what. I turned Zikun into an animal. Junpei, not now. I'm frustrated. The number of the lost has been increasing lately. But there's only one shadow left. Once we destroy him, it'll be all over. We need to save this town, man. Leave it up to me. Gotcha. Let's put a smile on everyone's face. Okay, but put a smile on my face. The next full moon is soon approaching. Let's be prepared. I want to be able to make a successful report on Shinjiro. Or to Shinjiro. Not on him. Okay, I guess you're not going to put a smile on my face since you're not going to talk to me. Let's see if the monk is there. Things are going awry, guys. Like, Chihiro... Our relationship is very sour, and I don't like things that are sour, unless they're pickles. Because I love pickles. Oh my god, I love pickles. My mouth is watering right now. My jaw's locking up. You guys ever think about some food sometimes, and then your jaw locks up at just like the thought of like having that food? Oh god, pickles. I love pickles. But anyway, our relationship with Chihiro is sour, and then um, our relationship with Yuko is broken. Sliced in half. Like, somebody took a sword and slice that bitch in half. That is not cool. Let me see if I can increase my courage. I don't even know anymore, guys. This shit's crazy. Nah, I'm not gonna do any of that. Let me see if I can actually do karaoke. Whew, there's a lot of things going on right now, guys. Like, there's a lot on Zikun's plate. I don't know if he can finish all this. He might have to overeat to compensate for all these girls that are, like, mad at him right now. Like, Mitsuru's not giving him it any time of the day. Yukari is about to confess her love or some shit. Uh, Chihiro, hella salty. Yuko, super salty. Sodium levels are rising. Levers? Did I say levers or levels? I don't even know. I think I said lever levels. It's like a new word or some shit. <laughs> but Yuko's sodium levels, they're just off the chain because that, that salt is unreal. Okay, everyone, listen up. Everyone know what tofu is, right? It's a high-protein health food made of soybeans. Soy sauce is another food that's obviously made from soybeans. Obviously. Now, Z. Oh, great. Here we go. 
Natto comes from soybeans too, but how is it made? By boiling them? By fermenting them? By stir-frying them? I feel like fermenting them just sounds right. Right! <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Natto is fermented, which is why it's sticky. It's a Japanese food, but even here, a handful of people can't stand the taste of it. You gave the correct answer. Your charm is increased. Yeah! I knew what natto was. They're like these like light brown, orangish beans things that are like really sticky. You can actually see like the, the liquid that's st st making it sticky. Um, I've had it, I don't really mind it. Are you walking back by yourself? I'll come with you. Yes, I need some light at the end of this dark tunnel. Please, Yukari. Great, let's go somewhere. Yukari seems excited. I just need to hang out with a woman that appreciates me. Because right now everybody's pissed at me. Polonia Mall, Chagall Cafe. You feel your relationship growing stronger as you spend time with Yukari. It's getting dark out. You decide to go back to the dorm. Okay. Maybe I'm not meant to have a social link with Mitsuru this episode. <laughs> Hi, how was your day? It was okay. I spent time with Yukari, and then that's all that really matters. So let me go to Polonia one more time. Let me see if the monk is there. And then I'm gonna try on Friday. Yeah, tomorrow's Friday in this game. I'm gonna try one more time to hang out with Mitsuru. If I can't, then for sure in the next episode, something's gonna happen between us, whether it be good or bad, because I'm gonna tell it like it is. If she doesn't want to hang out with me, I'm like, hey, how the fuck are you avoiding me? That's not cool, girl. And then she's gonna be like, excuse me? There you go. Monk. Oh, dear. Matatsu seems to be drinking by himself. Yes, let's do it. Hey, what a strange kid. Okay. Yeah, but like I said about Mitsuru, hopefully it can happen tomorrow, if not next episode for sure. Oh, there you are. I'm feeling down today, kid. So listen to what this old monk has to say, will ya? Alright, just let me plop my ass down there. Those folks downstairs, they're probably around your age, eh? It looks like they're having fun drinking and dancing, don't it? But if you look closely, the eyes say otherwise. I bet they come here to relieve stress, but I wonder if any of them are actually enjoying themselves. Stress won't go away unless you take care of its source. You can't forget about it, but it'll always come back. This place is more like a refuge for me than a club. If those kids really want to relax, we should switch the music to the Heart Sutra and... Hey! There's a microphone over there. Bring it over, kid! I'll perform a live sutra reading. Oh, God, no. Oh, uh, that's okay. I don't think you should. Don't underestimate me, kid. My reading of the Heart Sutra will change your life. Mutatsu seems like he's having fun. But I guess you're right. This place is too small to recite it properly. At least he's happy though, right? I have a son. He's about the same age as those kids down there. He'll be 21 this year. If he's still alive, that is. Perhaps because he was thinking about his son, you felt an almost fatherly concern for Mutatsu. You understand Mutatsu better now. So he doesn't talk to his son? Why? Why don't you have that good relationship with your son, bro? You're supposed to be a monk. You're supposed to be one with the people. Okay, yes. We upgraded it. What the freaking do? The unusual monk social link has reached level 7. Damn, level 7 already? Feels like it's like level 5, but it's almost over. You think it's okay to leave the future of this country in their hands? Well, it's not like I've got high hopes for the future anyways. All things are unique, yet not singular. Oh, sorry, kid. I'm done talking. Please? Can you please shut up? Go home before it gets too late, alright? I'll see you later. Alright, let's go. We have business plans. With a certain redhead with a long-ass skirt that has our name on it. What will you do? Let's go to sleep. And hopefully we can make things happen. Guys, I need you to do something for me. Before this day starts, I need you to cross your fingers, clench your buttholes tight, because whatever Mitsuru says determines if we are going to get mad or not. And it's the number 23 today, so that's a very lucky number, at least in my book. Let's begin class. Ahi, ani, blah, 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 blah. We've covered the times of magical growth. Oh my god, this magic bullshit again. I'm sorry. I really don't care for this, ladies and gentlemen, so I'm skipping the fuck out of that. If you guys want to get into the lore of this, whatever Mr. Itogawa is talking about, then go ahead, but me, I'm not doing that. 
who was the founder of Theosophy, which gave rise to many magical societies. Um, Crowley seems right. WRONG! FUCK! Okay. It was incorrect. People think I'm a complete dumbass, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, so we are going to definitely start the Mitsuru Social Link in the next episode. I promise you guys, it's coming soon, so stay tuned.